What's going on, guys? Hope everybody's having a great day. Please do me a favor, smash that like button, and let's jump right into this video. So I was looking for more information about Prosecutor Bill Thompson. He's the prosecutor from Latah County who's in charge of prosecuting Brian Koberger. Brian Koberger is the suspect in the Idaho 4 case where four college students were brutally murdered in their homes while they slept. And I learned that Bill Thompson has not pursued the death penalty in any case over the past few decades. As a matter of fact, any death penalty that he has seeked before has been overturned. So he's never issued a death penalty to anyone that actually had to face it. It made me curious of who is Bill Thompson? Is he the type that sees this crime and says, whoever is capable of doing something like this cannot be reformed and needs to be put to death to answer for his crimes? Or is he the type of person who's going to look at this case and say, okay, there's some serious psychological issues here. We don't want to put anybody to death. That's not how we do things in a civilized society. We just need to put him in prison for the rest of his life. I don't know. I don't know what kind of guy he is, right? Sudden and unexplainable nature of the murders here in Moscow has left survivors, both young and old, afraid for their safety. Today they told the court the only thing that might give them peace is a life sentence for John Lee. John Lee, accused of gunning down his mother, Terry Grabelsky, landlord David Trail, and Arby's manager, Mel uh, Belinda Niebuhr. We've had a chance to review that ourselves and with an independent psychologist, and I think we're at a point where uh, the defense just simply needs some more time to see if we're going to be able to reach a resolution. No way to predict one way or the other. The state uh, refused his guilty plea but accepted an Alford plea instead. Why was that? Yeah, Lee was expected to plead guilty today, but the judge said that he would not accept that plea because it appeared John Lee didn't understand what he was pleading guilty to. Now saying that he was, uh, Lee said that he was doing what his uh, legal counsel had advised him to do. An Alfred plea is a guilty plea of a defendant who says he is innocent of the crime and admits prosecutors have enough evidence to prove that he is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. I'm just glad it's over. It's, this, this, we've come a long ways. Got to just keep it Moscow strong, huh? Today we also learned Lee targeted people who actually tried to help him. His landlord, David Trail, recently jump-started Lee's car, but Lee, seen here in this surveillance video, ambushed Trail in his office. Mr. Lee returned into the office, which is when he shot Mr. Chen, and seeing that Mr. Trail was still moving, he shot him again. Lee was a complete stranger to Arby's manager, Belinda Niebuhr. The defendant pursued her and continued to shoot into her after she was on the ground outside that window. So I went and I found this article that he wrote titled At Home in Latah County by Bill Thompson, County Prosecutor. And I thought we would read it, maybe get a better idea of who the prosecutor is in the Brian Koberger case. Let's jump into that. Growing up in an Air Force family meant home was wherever we happened to be. My dear mother kept track of all the schools I attended, counting 17 from 1st through 12th grade. The last change was between my junior and senior years in high school when my dad transferred from Hampton, Virginia to Ogden, Utah. After graduating in 1977 from Utah State University with a degree in political science, I came to Moscow to attend the University of Idaho College of Law. I remember driving my old Datsun pickup from Virginia, where my folks settled after Dad retired and where I had spent the summer, across the country to my new home, Latah County, Idaho. I recall driving over the Mississippi River and hearing on the radio that Elvis had died, detouring through Yellowstone, then driving down Highway 12 in the middle of a forest fire, past Lewiston, and the sweet aroma of the potluck meal reminding me of the pulp mills near where my dad grew up in Augusta, Georgia, and then up to the grade to arrive at my new home on a hot August afternoon. After I checked out the dorms, it was a quick decision to move to the then dead end of Dave's Avenue to rent the basement of a house with a classmate. There were no houses to speak of to the east, and we could cross-country ski right out the driveway. I bought a desk, aka a rough table, 
a bed, and a spider plant at a yard sale, and law school began. Frances and I met the following year. She was just starting law school, and I was assigned as a tutor for the first year contracts class students. We have been together ever since. Such a blessing. I graduated from law school on May 17, 1980, the day before Mount St. Helens erupted, and Frances and I were married in Boise the following weekend. Yet another story. After graduating and passing the bar in 1980, I ended up in private practice with a classmate. Francis graduated law school in 1981, and we were soon in practice together, the mom-and-pop law shop. Our practice continued for the next 11 years. During this time, our sons, Abraham and Morgan, were born. In 1992, with Francis's encouragement, I ran for Lataw County Prosecuting Attorney. After contested primary and general races, I was blessed to be elected to the office I now hold. Serving as Lataw County's elected prosecutor for the past 28 years has been the highlight of my professional life. I am deeply grateful and indebted to the citizens of Lataw County for entrusting me with their confidence and enabling the Lataw County Prosecutor's Office to grow and mature into one of the most respected offices in the state of Idaho. We have worked hard for our constituents. As prosecutors, we are responsible for seeking justice and protecting the integrity of the justice system. In fact, prosecuting attorneys in Idaho are constitutionally part of the judicial branch of the government. When I first took office, I inherited the motto of my predecessors, truth, justice, and the American way of life. Those words still appear on our letterhead. We have since refined our mission to make it clear that our duty is protecting everyone's rights. Whether they are victims of a crime, those who have committed criminal acts, or members of our community needing to know that they are safe, we are legally charged with ensuring that the rights of all are protected, and we take that to heart in every decision we make. While not always easy, it is always necessary, and doing the right thing makes each day worthwhile. Our civil department is among the best in the state of Idaho, providing timely and comprehensive legal advice to our county elected officials and department heads so they can serve the public. Our criminal division is dedicated to doing everything we can to responsibly protect the public while also promoting necessary rehabilitation and treatment for offenders so they will no longer be a threat to our community. We have been leaders in our treatment court programs, advocating for holding offenders accountable while striving to encourage them to overcome their addictions. Today we face challenges we never before imagined. There's no such thing as a true court appearance, and we are left to virtue. Two-dimensional court proceedings. This pandemic is having multiple obvious and not so obvious impacts on our community. For some, loneliness and depression, while for others, emotion-charged debates and protestations over how we should treat and respect each other. Political and philosophical divisiveness is rampant. Nonetheless, Lataw County Prosecuting Attorney's Office will preserve and continue to do our best for the county, striving to protect everyone's right in the pursuit of truth and justice. Lataw County is truly home, a home unlike any I had ever experienced 43 years ago when I arrived on that hot August afternoon, and a home I am proud to serve. Bill Thompson, Lataw County Prosecutor. So that sounds like a guy who is ready to uphold the law. Sounds like a guy who's ready to uphold the defendant's rights, right? Does his words here align with what we've seen so far? Does it? Maybe it does in your opinion. Maybe it doesn't in somebody else's opinion. I'd like to know what you think. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel to see more. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post. Have a great day. And we'll see you later.